This is the book of St. Matthew 22, verse 14, and it reads this. For many are called, but few are chosen. For many are called, but few are chosen. la. Abanawa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Radash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. St. Matthew's 22. Verse 14, and it reads this, for many are called, but few are chosen. So you have a lot of Israelite men that are called to speak and prophesy, because that's the main thing we're supposed to be doing is prophesying these words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, preparing our people uh, for the day of battle, man. Okay. You know, as it says, wisdom and wisdom, knowledge and stability. So, uh, so like, you know what? So let me butcher it. Let's go ahead and get it real quick. Isaiah 33, <clears throat> verse 6, and it reads this, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai is his treasure. Okay, because you have a lot of Jakes, okay, Israelites that are called, okay, that are called to, you know, do this work, to, 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 to edify, to warn, to condemn, to prophesy, okay? So to have a, 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 a pride demon to say that you're automatically chosen, you know, it's just, it, it, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. You know, to, to really have that arrogancy and, and that pride on you, to really believe that you already been beamed up, given a new body, the law, statutes, and commandments been written in your inward parts, that stony heart is taken out, Okay, but yet to come back down here, to still be in hell, to still be in captivity, to still be under the rulership of the Edomites is madness, man. How do you know if you're chosen? Let's let the Bible speak. Okay. Let's go to St. Matthews. <clears throat> 24. St. Matthews 24. And... uh Let's start off at verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then, OK, and that, that's, you know, all types of hell going on, all types of judgment. And what is that referring to? You know, Jacob's trouble, man. OK, and then. OK, because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on, man. OK, the most high, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah is going to put the spirit on these cave gorillas. OK, these Edomites who's in rulership right now, who who has to be taken down. OK, point blank period, man. Isaiah 63, second address, chapter six, man. OK, and amongst other chapters, too, man. OK, and then shall appear the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he, okay, Yahawashai, and Yahawashai shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. So to say that you're chosen, you know, and the scripture does say, you know, put on as the elect, but to make a, a bold statement to say that you're automatically chosen. OK, yeah, you, you were called. OK, a lot of brothers was called, you know, even the false prophets were called. OK, but you're chosen when you're beamed up in that chariot, man. You're chosen when you're beamed up in that chariot and you're saved from the judgment that the Lord's going to bring forth. OK, which he's going to destroy Babylon, a.k.a. America, man. That's how you know you're chosen is when you're beamed up in that chariot and Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is giving you a crown and telling you good work. OK, but to literally say that you're chosen right now, is just, you know, pride, man. OK, point blank period, man. And what does that go to? OK, because we're going to let the Bible speak, man. And furthermore, 
I'm speaking on the matter of, you know, this video that I put out, you know, uh oh, they got back up. And, you know, I didn't, uh, because it, it would be a waste of time to, you know, pull out the scriptures and bring the evidence, the facts. I just spoke on, you know, the demons and, you know, uh, 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 you being stuck in a delusion and thinking that you're doing something righteous when you're actually being wicked, man. Okay, and and like I said, you you know you you jigs get get involved with these other niggas, cause that's what that's what you niggas are at the end of the day. You niggas, man. Okay, you get involved with these other niggas that was in the camp, and don't even really know what the fuck is going on. So you don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, you don't even know what the real situation is about. And again, it's not about no damn doctrine, man. It's about it's about uh, 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 two effeminate niggas' feelings, man. Ain't about no damn doctrine, man. These niggas is butt hurt, man. OK, so you don't even know what you're getting yourself involved in, even uh, being uh, 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 in the midst of these uh, uh, reprobates, man. You know, the only thing you niggas agree on, man, is, oh, you hate GMS or oh, we hate GMS, too. Let's come together. That's it. That's it. You know? Because all you niggas got different doctrines, different. <laughs> some of y'all niggas wear, you know, the actual uh, garments with the fringes. And some of you niggas wear T-shirt with, uh, with uh, uh, garments and fringes, man. It's like it with fringes. Forgive me. You know? And you got the, uh, some of these niggas that they, that they shave their head bald and get lineups. But y'all don't say nothing about that. Because why? You all agree that you hate GMS, man. Because, you know, you, you, you don't examine nothing. You don't. You know, take heed to what you're going to. Let's get that real quick. Proverbs 14, verse 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going, man. So, you know, why all of a sudden, you know, everything was all good just a week ago when you was in the camp. But as soon as you get rebuked and, you know, whatever the case may be, because I know a little bit of what's, a little bit of what's going on because it was told to me, but... You know, ask ask the people that you exalt and why. You know, you was you was you was with them at one point. But why? What you know? What, what what actually happened? And I promise you, they ain't gonna tell you the truth, cause they want to look good. They want to look like they they're correct and they they've been done wrong. Okay. That's all it boils down to, man. Point blank, period, man. Um, let's go to Ciroc, man. Cause you niggas, man, y'all proud as hell, man. <clears throat> Rock 12 was at 10. It's locked, yeah. <clears throat> this is Rock 10. All right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 10. I'm going to jump around. Verse 7. Pride is hateful before the Most High and man, and by both do one commit iniquity. So to, to make bold statements and to not say, Lord willing, I don't want Rock to Zah. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh shall Rock to Zah. And to basically clarify and be for certain and, and try to usurp authority over the most high to say, I'm this, I'm that. It, it, you, you, man, man, oh, man. That's scary, man. Real talk. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, simple nigga is going to come. Well, this is why I said it. This is this, this and that, that and this. <laughs> let me see here real quick. Hold on. Let's get this real quick. Let me, let me show you what you're going to do. <clears throat> Let me show you exactly what you're going to do. Give me one second. Um, this is it right here. Con. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 15. Starting off at verse 8, and it reads this. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into a man defileth a man, but that which com cometh out of the mouth of it. It's like that, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. And that's right, man. And let's jump down right here. Verse 14. Let, let them alone. Okay? Because again, as you know, like I said before, you have niggas saying that we won't respond, we won't do this. Why? It's commanded for us to not, you know, uh, keep keep company with reprobates fools man let them alone leave them alone so we mark you when we avoid you man let them alone they be blind leaders of the blind and if the blind lead the blind both shall fall into a ditch man 
Okay, so you're teaching your man-made doctrine, okay, I I exalting yourself, you know, being real bold and real pompous and proud, talking about you this, you that, and you you're certain of it. And then you try to, you know, twist scriptures and, you know, bring out your false understanding when it comes to those scriptures to, to, to bring out your, 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 your prideful points, okay? But well, that's cool, man. And like I said in the prior lesson, man, I'm not, and this is just to show you, you, you Israelites, man, you know, what, what not to be like and what not to follow, man. Because I'm not, you know, going back and forth with you niggas, man. I don't got time, man. And for the, uh, the simple-minded nigga that, that tried to say, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, nah, homeboy, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And to be honest with you, uh, little nigga, I'm, I'm old enough to be your uncle or your father, okay? I got grown men and sons, all right? I got grown men and sons, okay? A 20-year-old and a 21-year-old. So like you, uh, a 19-year-old and a 21-year-old, okay? You know, Y'all niggas need to, to learn how to respect your elders, man. But, you know, obviously you must not have the respect for your own family and, and in, in in your own family, I'm pretty sure you don't have the respect for your father, your uncles, or your aunts. Because look how you niggas conduct yourselves, man. No morals, no integrity, no nothing, man. Okay? Well, let's jump back real quick and let's end this. Because <clears throat> I'm not going back and forth with you niggas, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. What did I go? Uh, Sirach. Let's jump back there. Sirach 10, verse 9. Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man, for such in one sitteth, so like for for such in one setteth his soul to sell, because while he liveth he casteth away his bowels, man. So how can earth and ashes be proud, man? Okay, how can you niggas be proud, man? Let's jump down to verse twelve, man. The beginning of pride is when one departeth from his maker, and his heart is turned away from his and his heart is turned to so like the beginning of pride is when one departed from the most high and his heart is turned away from his maker. And that's a scary sight, man, to see Jake have that pride demon on him, man. And for him not even to not even know that the Lord is not with him. And then the Lord puts a delusion on these niggas to really believe that the Lord is actually with them, man. And again, you are doing the Lord's work. So I'm not going to I'm not going to disagree with you on that. You are. Okay, you are doing the work, man. Bravo. Okay. Standing ovation for you niggas, man. If that's what you want, cool, no problem. But you're not doing it the way you think you are. You're not doing it in righteousness. You're doing it to be judged. You're doing it to lead the other two thirds into the pit, man. Okay, as I read, man, you're blind leaders. Leading the blind, man. Okay? Following niggas that that are that are upset and effeminate off a situation that, that happened with them and bringing you niggas along and you don't even know why. And again, if you even had the the intellect to even ask them, you know, what happened? Why did you leave, you know, GMS or whatever the case may be? They're not going to tell you the truth. Okay? It's not about no doctrine. It's not about, oh, they did they wrong on this, they wrong on that. Nah, it's about revenge, emotions, feelings. Niggas is hurt, man. No backbone, no nuts, man. Okay, uh, verse 13, for pride is the beginning of sin, and he that have it shall pour out abomination. And therefore, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly, man. And that's going to be the end game for you niggas, man. Okay, that's going to be the end game for you, man. If you claim to know the scriptures and everything else, what if you read the stories and the history and all that, when kings is about to get judged, the ones that actually fear the Lord, what did they do? They humbled the fuck down. They humbled down. And the Lord gave them mercy, man. But, you know, keep on acting the way you act, man. Okay? Keep on acting the way you act, man. And, 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 and furthermore, this is not just talking to one dude. This is talking all, to all you Israelites that have this mentality, man. Okay? I'm talking to all you wicked niggas that have this mentality. Not just one person, man. Let me make that clear. Let's close out here. Because to be honest with you, I wasn't going to say nothing, but, you know... The spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah had me bring this forth real quick. Okay. This is Proverbs 15, verse 33. The fear of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. So you got to be humiliate, hu humiliated. 
Okay, didn't Yahweh Shah go through humiliation? Are, are, are not we, the true prophets of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, going to go through humiliation? Yes. Are, are we not going to be persecuted? Yes. Okay. And for niggas to say that we're the house of Saul and we're not persecuting nobody and we're being persecuted left and right, left, so like it left and right. And, and, and all we're supposed to be doing is prophesying, but Jake is trying to bring down us. <laughs> hey, man, make it make sense, man. Second Edris chapter 15, verse 1. Revelation chapter 19, verse 10, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. So let me, let me leave it right there, man. I don't want to write this out. I hope I pray this is edifying to the whole four So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.